Hello everyone, this is Argenis Alvarez from CMG and thanks for joining CMG Technical Bytes. This time we are going to talk about quick tools that use results program to make it easier to analyze results during a history match, using options like difference bubble plots, streamlines and flow locations analysis. The model we will use to illustrate these features represents a reservoir with an aquifer with a limited action and a lacquid fluid. It has 12 producing wells and 3 injection wells to help the reservoir pressure support. As an objective, we will show how to easily perform both the standard bubble plot and the difference bubble plot to compare the simulation results with the data measured in the field, and then understand how reservoir fluids move using streamlines and flow allocation plots. To begin, we will make a quick graph of production per well so we can compare 3D results with the respective production fluid plots. To do this, we select in any to do 3D view and select any well. Right click and select the quit plot well option and then oil producer. This automatically generates this dashboard, which is interactive since I can select any well in the 3D view and plots are automatically updated. Now, to activate the bubble charts, simply click on any well, go to the wells menu, click the option well bubbles in the well ribbon group to display the full bubbles for water, oil and gas. The well bubble feature display time series information on 3D or 2D reservoir views above wells as stack cylinders are an, and they are time dependent. To further configure well bubble properties, select the Edit Well Bubbles button in the ribbon drop-down, set the property in, uh, in the left, the property you want to plot, and in the right you can select the property you want to move up, move down or delete. A stack display the bubbles a cylinder which with fits radius and variable height to represent the magnitude of the bubbles. Pie display the bubbles of pie charts with variable radius and fits height to represent the magnitude of the bubbles. Set the height scale and radius scale by modifying the sliders to customize the visual look of the well bubbles. Now, swapping to the difference tab in the well bubble settings which allow users to create different bubbles. A different bubbles create a bubble from two different files for comparison between results for the file selected. Select a reference file for any loaded SR3 file or history file to compare with the currently selected reservoir model. In this case, we compare a file history file with the current simulation results and select water rate as the parameter we want to represent in the bubble. If the type of all plot, it's also possible to use cylinders and pipes to represent the difference between the two files. If we look at the 3 image, 3D image, we can say, see that the bubbles can change dynamically with time and for example, well 13 show that we have an excess of water production simulated while well 7 has a deficit of producer water simulated. For further analysis, a flow location dashboard can be created by going to any to do or 3D view and click on any well, then select the quit plot well option, the flow allocation option, and a flow allocation dashboard will be created for the selected well. The dashboard now is divided into three regions, a 3D view on the left, the flow location pie chart on the upper right, and the flow location details in the lower right. You can navigate around the dashboard by clicking on any wells in the 3D view, and the streamlines, the pipe and the details panes will update accordingly with the selected well. As you select different wells, the streamlines will be automatically filtered and colored to analyze the streamlines for only the selected well. For example, if you click on the well 13, 
you can see that the simulated water produced for the well is around 56% from the reservoir and the rest of the water produced come from the injection wells. Since this well has a set of water, as can be seen uh, with the green difference bubble, we could look to reduce one of the water sources based on the indication we have of the production water from the well. We were able to look as well an injection well and it's possible to know and quantify which well are producing water from the respective injection well selected. Finally, we can talk about some advantages of use this type of analysis. First, using different well bubble plots, it is possible to notice which excess or deficit of fluid is produced. We can also track flow allocation of injector and producer through a flow allocation dashboard and reallocate injection to injector that influence the most of production. And finally, we can visualize drainage volumes through streamlines. Nothing else for my part today. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like. To remind you to through this channel, we are going to continue talking about topics of interest. So those who are interested, please subscribe to the channel and leave turn on notification so that you are automatically notified every time there is a new video on the channel. Thanks for joining CMG Technical Bytes.